Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. And today for sixth grade mathematics, I'm going to be working on prime factorization. Here's some vocabulary you're going to be encountering. Prime, prime number, factor, area, square inches, factorization, greater than, rectangular, product, digits, length and width. Get out your composition book right now, write the word down, write the definition, and two examples for each one. Prime factorization. So we have the first one here, it just says 75, but up here, many times you'll find someplace else. What are the directions? It says find the prime factorization. Now, it may be taught differently at your school, but this is how I learned, and I thought it was pretty neat because here we go. Let's start out at the top here with 75. It's kind of a triangular approach. What can I do here? Well, a lot of times I start with like 2, which is a, a prime factor. I'm like, no, that's not it. 3. I can do 3 possibly here. I can also do 5. I'm going to start with 5 because there's a 5 there. And I know because I've worked on my multiplication tables from 0 to 15. I know that 5 times 15 is equal to 75. Notice how this looks very similar to what's called a number bond. Remember we did number bonds where I have a box at the top and then I have a box off to the side here and here and they're all connected and when I'm doing my multiplication number bonds this would be a 5 and let's say I had a 15 over here and I go oh I need to multiply these two to get 75 and then conversely I can use it to say well 75 divided by 15 and I come over here and find 5 or I could say 75 divided by 5 is 15. Very similar. Let's go back here. 75 I have 5 times 15. Now I can't break down 5 because that is a prime number. I can come over here and say well I know that 5 times 3 is equal to 15. But am I done? If you did this I would accept it but some teachers are, they want to see it like this so it would be like 5 times 5 times 3 is equal to 75. They want to see that solution, have you draw a nice box around it, and your teacher will come by and give a nice smiley face because you did your work. There you go. Let's look at number 2. So number 2, we start out with 12, and I know that 2 times 6 is 12, and I know that I can break this down even further, that 2 times 3 is 6. Write it out, 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 12. Number 3, 65. Break it down again. 5 times what is equal to 65? If we look at this here, this is 5 times 15. 5 times 14 is 70. So therefore, 5 times 13 is 65. Check it out. So let's, let's look at this. 13 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 10 is 50 plus another 10 is going to be 60 so 65 so I validated it so now I can just say 5 times 13 equals 65 that one was simple remember when you have a 5 at the end of a number it's divisible by 5 right off the bat so you have a prime factor immediately similar with twos or any or zeros anything that's divisible by 2 at the end you're gonna have your first prime factor which brings me to this here, 100. Okay, just draw 100 at the top of my triangle. I have my 2. 2 times 50, because 50 plus 50 is equal to 100. Do it again. 2, and that's going to be 25. Now, I can use my knowledge about 5s to come over here and say, well, wait a minute. I can do a 5. And 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So for this one, it would be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 and that equals 100. Now I just want to extend the learning on this one here. Let's say it said do the prime factorizations but wherever possible make an exponent. So I could say 2 squared times 5 squared. See how that is? Because 5 squared is 5 times 5 and 2 squared is 2 times 2. Keep that in the back of your mind. Find the prime factorization. 32. What number would you start with to factor this out? If you chose 2, give yourself a gold star. Look at that. That's how you start it out. So 2 times what? Well, what's half of 32? Well, half of 32 is 16. And then half of 16 is 8. 
because we're just dividing, and we look at this here, 32 divided by 2, and put 1 here, 2, subtract that 2 from that from the 3 here that thir of 32 or the 30 and I get it 1 bring down the 2 and I have 2 times 6 see I'm getting doing this I'm using my division knowledge but also my knowledge about multiplication it goes both ways okay now let's get back here so half of 8 is 4 and half of 4 is 2. so now I can come back here write out 2 times which is here 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and that's going to be this 2 right here look at number 6 we have 12 again oh no this one's simple because it was a mistake I'm not going to go back and make a new slide we already know that 2 times 6 is 12 and then 2 times 3 so 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12 now we have some new directions right here write the number so we're writing something whose prime factorization is given. So what we have here is this 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Remember how we did this with the triangle? Let's do the same thing and kind of in reverse. 2 times 2 is 4. And then I can say, well, 2 times 4 is 8. And then I have, I'm going to bring this down here. And 8 times 7 is 56. Now, I did it this way. It's kind of boxy or whatever. I'm going to circle this for my answer. Let's go on to number 8. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to bring this 2 down here. And I have 4 times 2 is 8. And I'm going to bring this 2 down here. And 8 times 2 is 16. Now wait. I'm going, well, what's 3 times 16? Do I really want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. But let's take a look here. I can do 3 times 3 is 9. And then I have 16 times 9. What do we do? Now, I know that I can have 9 16s or 16 nines, but what if I have 10 16s, which is 160, but I want 9, so I just take it away 116. Let's subtract that. I'm going to borrow 10 ones from here. So I have 10 minus 6 is 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 1, 144. That's my answer. That's definitely the answer. Or you can just go the multiplication route. 16 times 9. 6 times 9 is 54. Look at that, I have 4s there. 9 times 10 is 90, plus 5 is 14. Same answer, it's just one way is different than the other. This way I could do it in my head. This way it took me a moment to figure it out. Let's do some word problems. Let's look at number 9. The area of a rectangle is the product of its length and width. A rectangular poster has an area of 260 square inches. The width of the poster is greater than 10 inches and is a prime number. What is the width of the poster? Well first we can look at this as length times width is equal to the area. So we have that formula that we need to know. So the area of the rectangle. So we know the area of the rectangle is the product of this length and width. There's length times width. And that's what product means. It's multiplication. A rectangular poster, so I have this rectangular poster, see how it's rectangular, so my length is probably taller than my width, or is it the other way around? So it has this area, so it has the area of 260 square inches, and the width of the poster is greater than 10. Oh, okay, so here we go, there's that width is greater than 10, and it's a prime number, so it's greater than 10 and a prime number. So prime number, and I'm looking at this, and I'm going, well, wait a minute, area is equal to... 260 and that's square inches and I'm not going to put in the the dimensions yet here I'll, or I could just do that here we go just just do that just so you can see it so but it says here that the width at W so I can also put this down as L times W is equal to 260 now W is greater than 10 inches but one of the things I notice is that a prime number greater than 10 I can say look at it and go 11 but if I go up one more prime number which is 13 I know that 260 is easily divisible by 13 so L times 13 is equal to 260 and then I'm going to divide each side by 13 I'm going to have L is equal to 260 260 divided by 13. So 2 times 13, I'm going to put that right here, is 26. 
And I'm, when I subtract that, that gets zero, bring down the zero. Zero times 13 is zero. So I'm looking at my length being 20 inches. So I'm just gonna put this down here. Length is 20 inches, period. Now that's great, but it's not complete because it says here, what is the width of the poster? And I would have to say, and W is 13 inches. I would accept this in a test. If your teacher says, hey, you need to write it in a complete sentence, write it in a complete sentence because that's what the answer they're looking for. I want to see if you understand what you need to get done. Look at the mathematics and see if you can write it in a way that makes sense and answers the question. Let's look at number 10. In August, the digits of the code number are the prime factors of 150. What is the code number for the office door in August? Digits of the code number, do we need to care, prime factors of 150. What is the code for the office door in August? So we're looking for that code number for office door in August, but it gives us this hint. It's the prime factors of 150. So we just have to do the prime factor of that. 150. I know that tens, fives and tens, when it ends in a zero or a five, I know that five is going to be one of those. 150. Well, what's five times what is equal to 15? That's three. You multiply that by 10, so it's going to be 30. And then I can look at this and go, okay, well, there's going to be five times six, and then two times three. So now I have all the prime factors here, so I can write down the code will be 5, 5, 2, 3 in August. And that's it. If you're unsure about some of the mathematics that I've shown here or the terminology, please go back into my YouTube channel here. Do a search on one of the terms because most of the time I went through and I looked at all the vocabulary I used. I put that as a keyword or something in there for the search. You can go in there and find exactly what you're looking for. Remember, practice, practice, practice. Create your mathematics dictionary where you can write down words, definitions, and have examples. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Watch me correct my mistakes on TikTok at Mr. Woods Teaches. Till next time, remember to be a math person. All you have to be is a person that does math.